All right, so this video is gonna be a quick one. I just wanted to talk about this project called Red Pajama. So this is from the group called Together Compute, I think is also their name. And this is basically the start of a whole project to reproduce a fully open source version of the Llama models. And they've kicked it off by first releasing the data set. So it's pretty impressive. Their plan is to basically create a, a set of open models of the Llama models. And to do that, they actually have to train the foundation models on over a trillion tokens. So here's the data set based on what the original Llama actually used. So this is over a trillion tokens. They're saying it's 1.2 trillion tokens. If we remember back, Llama the 7 billion and the 13 billion parameter models were trained on 1 trillion tokens. And the two bigger models going up to the 65 billion parameter model was trained on 1.4 trillion tokens. So while it might seem perhaps not a big deal that, oh, they've released this data set because it's just scraped from the internet, it is definitely a big deal in regards to the pre-processing and all the things that have been done for that. So they've managed to put that all together in a way that can actually go through and make a nice, clean, high quality data set on par with what Llama was trained on. Now, in theory, that should mean that we can get a model out that will be as good as Llama. And so they point out in here that basically this has been uh, sort of a takeoff moment for AI and certainly for large language models that these open source models have come along. But unfortunately, a lot of the models like Llama, Alpaca, Vicuna, Koala are not really fully open. There are some that like Pythia, Open Chat Kit, Open Assistant, and Dolly, which are fully open, but a lot of the others are not. So this is a way of them kicking it off and getting started to make fully open Llama model. So the group, there's quite a number of groups together about this. We've got together themselves. There's also people from Stanford, from ETH in Switzerland, from Mila in Canada. It's definitely a big international effort to make this thing happen. And so they talk about the three main components of this being the pre-training data, which needs to be both high quality and have broad coverage. That's what they're releasing now. The base models, which is apparently their training at the moment. And then third will be the instruction tuning data sets which we'll probably see a variety of those come out over then. So anyway, they go on a little bit about the different reasons why and some things about Llama in there. And then they break down the actual data set. So the data set is made of five dumps of common crawl, which is basically looking, just scraping the internet of pages. And then they've got a number of different filters that they're using to clean that. They've got the C4, standard C4 data set, which came out of the T5 model back in 2019. They've got GitHub, they've got archive papers, they've got the books corpus, which I'm pretty sure was used in the original GPT-2 model, Wikipedia being used in many models, and Stack Exchange there as well. So this is quite impressive, the number of tokens that they've got here that are putting all together to create something that's sort of 1.2 trillion tokens. This is definitely in the ballpark of what, where Llama was. So they've put this up on Hugging Face. If you wanted to go and train your own Llama model now and you had the money and the compute, you would certainly be able to do that. The data set is on Hugging Face. It's a trillion tokens. It will take you probably quite a long time to download it. And they've also got in here a smaller version of this which is the sample data set. So this one, you can actually go through and have a look at it. This is only a billion tokens, a subset from the main one. So anyway, just the main thing to sort of keep you informed here is that we've got a full open source Llama model that sounds like it's well on the way to coming out, which will mean that a lot of things that people were doing with Vicuna, with Koala, with a lot of these models, there's probably going to be versions of these that are going to be fully open source in the not too distant future. Anyway, on that note, as always, if you've got questions, please put them in the comments. If you found this useful, please click like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.